He may look like any other beloved family pet playing with his owner in the park, but four-year-old Springer Spaniel Toby has very important work to do. And Toby loves his job as the world's first bee-sniffing dog. Trained by the army, the playful pup is being hailed as the latest weapon in a bid to find Britain's disappearing bumblebees. Professor Dave Goulson of Stirling University explains Toby's role in the three-year study. Kind of thing driving it all is that bumblebees are, are declining. They're a lot less than they used to be. Some species have gone extinct completely in the UK. But unless you really understand what the factors are causing them to die out, then you can't do anything about it. So the reason we want Toby is, is he should enable us to find lots of nests early in the year and then we can study those nests, we can follow them, we can see how well they do, see if they do better in some places than others. Um, dogs are naturally kind of energetic and inquisitive and they look for things and uh, his reward is, is a tennis ball, which doesn't seem like much, but it seems enough to keep him happy. And when he's not sniffing around for bees' nests, Toby lives with PhD research student and owner Steph O'Connor. He's, he's a working dog, so he's kept outside. Um, the only time I get to really play with him and interact with him um, is when he's found a nest and then he's being rewarded. Other than that, it's just kind of, you know, walks and quite strict, really. He's not allowed to play with sticks or frisbees or anything, unfortunately. All summer, I've been out every day looking for bees and he's been working and having fun, so it's, it's not hard for him. He does enjoy his job.